Okay, how do you enforce a judgment from the court? Well, the court uh, renders the judgment and then uses the uh, executive branch authority to execute that judgment. So uh, the court, through its contempt power, might order that the parties pay over a, a certain amount to the court or that a certain amount be deducted from the losing party's uh, wages at their employer, from their employer's uh, wages and that it be uh, paid directly to the court and then uh, paid to the um, defendant. Um, but unilaterally without, uh, without the prevailing party, without the plaintiff asking the court to intercede, the judgment's rendered and the uh, party, uh, the plaintiff, has to go about collecting the judgment on their own. Um, well, in some cases, you can get the judgment certified and re request that the court uh, use the executive authority and uh, send the judgment to the to the sheriff, along with a a, um, a description of where the individual's property is, so that the sheriff can identify that property and seize that property and sell it at public auction to satisfy the judgment. Other options may be for the party with the judgment to file that judgment as a lien on a person's property. And putting a lien on the person's property can have all kinds of repercussions with other, um, other liens or, or um, debts associated with the property. Uh, so then they could potentially foreclose on that property again the same way through a, phys through a civil action uh, to execute the judgment and to have it sold. Um, by generally the uh, the sheriff at public auction to satisfy the judgment. But uh, bottom line, the the ability to collect a judgment oftentimes is a long and drawn out process after the judgment is awarded. Okay, but um, there are numerous methods and, and ways to go about doing it.